Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of TEW 2020 NXT 2.0 here with a premium live event special NXT Full Brawl. Now match card videos come out, the go home shows come out and we're all ready for Full Brawl. Stacked cards, six matches, all the titles on the line. Uh, we got, God, uh, non tire wise, we've got Santos Escobar versus Tony D'Angelo. D'Angelo looking for revenge on Escobar after he left. The family and that's why looking for revenge on Tony for making him join the family in the first place. NXT women's tag titles on the line, Team 2001 versus Team TikTok. NXT men's tag titles on the line, Diamond Mind versus the Creed Brothers. NXT North American title on the line, Grayson Waller versus Solo Sokoa. NXT women's title on the line, Mandy Rose Sarai and NXT championship on the line, uh, Carmelo Hayes versus Wes Lee. Strong card. Hopefully we'll do very well, fingers crossed. And without further ado, let's just jump into it though. Let's jump into our... Second premium live event special of the series, NXT Full Brawl. And the show starts as all premium live events here on the channel do, and all, all premium live events in general do, an opening video package, of course, always here, narrated by the one and only Cody Rhodes, talking about Full Brawl. You know, bring up WCW, bring up Dusty. Dusty, yep. You know, all that, go over the card, though, go over all the matches I've already gone over in the intro, 72. Very good. Cody Rhodes came across very well. Cody Rhodes improvised well throughout the segment. It is Cody Rhodes. And we're just very happy to have him here. He's just great, isn't he? You know, he's, he's going to be gone at some point because, you know, he won't be injured anymore. But it's nice to have him here while we got him. Uh, as then, we get ready to kick things off in ring-wise with our first championship match of the night. Our first of five. And this one is for the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. Always good to start with some tag titles. I believe in NXT, and we're doing it with the women's this time. It's Team 2001, Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez taking on Team TikTok, Casey Squared, Katana Chance, and Kane Carter. Hopefully, a good match. Team TikTok been preparing for this, so 2001, you know, ready to take on eight challenges. Team TikTok the first stepping up, but who will walk away with a gold in the end? NXT Women's Tag Titles Online, and it is Team 2001 who exit as they enter as the women's tag team champions. Cora Jade pinning Caden Carr with a double underhook DDT in the end, their second events of the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships for 42. Dece, all right, little match, yeah. 42 Roxanne, 40 Katana, 38 Cora, 29 Caden. Caden bringing it down a bit, but announcing quality lifted things, and that's always nice, isn't it? Uh, as attendance of 3,200, they're you know, pretty good, actually. As Team 2001 keep a hold of their women's tag titles, Team TikTok cannot get it done here today. They will not be Fortnite dancing on those kids with those belts at the moment. I am sorry. Uh, uh, before then, we go to a little bit of fun. We go to the Chase U road trip as it finally comes to an end. They finally arrive at their destination. Andre Chase pulls up. Bodie Hayward's looking around, you know. Maybe like a golden retriever. He just kind of sticks his head out the window and just peering around. Gets back in the car. Where are we, Mr. Chase? And Ch Andre Chase says, you know, well, you know how much I, I, I want to bring some gold into Chase University. I want to fill up that Chase U trophy cabinet. And I realized that you, Bodie, and you, fi and he turns around to Fia, but Fia, Fia's already out the car. You know, me saying hello to people. It's Fia. She is a ball of energy isn't she uh and she says well you're both you know still learning you're both still getting there and you'll get there someday i know you will and you'll be adding some gold to that cabinet yourself okay both of you but right now we need athletes we need people who are ready already to take that step and bring that goal to chase you so bodie we're here on the recruit and they exit and it's kind of like a you know, sprawling university campus. Uh, they're at the, specifically, they're, they're kind of on the sports side of things. You know, you see football pitches, you see people playing on them, throwing the ball around. And Chase looking over them. And then he turns to Bodie and he says, let's get to work for a 27. Their road trip comes to an end. They arrive where they were heading, a university, a different one, not Chase University, sadly. And Andre telling Bodie that... It's time to recruit some more people to chase you to get the gold that he so desperately wants to add to that trophy cabinet at Chase University. Before we go back to the show and we go back with uh, the only non-title match of this evening, actually. It is Santos Escobar versus Tony D'Angelo. 
Uh, God, what's the chain of events here? Tony won to force Santos into the family. Uh, Santos turned his back on Tony and exited the family, took his boys with him, his legato guys. And then uh, Tony returned, cost Santos his North American title match. A lot of arguing, a lot of bickering. Time for a match. Santos Escobar versus Tony D'Angelo. One on one here at Full Pro. Stex is a ringside, you know, crowbar in hand in case things go a bit sideways. Legado were there as well in case things go a bit sideways. Uh, in the end, Santos and Tony fight it out, you know. It's quite a bitter in there. Neither man really likes each other. Uh, but in the end, it is Santos Escobar who comes out on top. Santos manages in the end to hit the bridging German suplex onto Tony D'Angelo, as it says. And pick up the 1, 2, 3 for a 55. Good match. 62 Santos, 38 Tony. Got the crowd hotter. That's always nice. As Santos Escobar does pick up the big win against Tony D'Angelo here. Good. Good. Good match. Lovely. Get the ratings up. Let's keep things going. Uh, as before we do keep things going after the match, Santos, you know, Legado get in the ring with him. Raise his arm. Celebrate with him. Santos does get the victory over the man who forced him into the family, forced all of them into the family and Tony. Just a lovely moment to celebrate for him for 57. Good. Good match. Good post. That's all you can ask for, isn't it? Before we go back to the title picture and we go back to the tag title picture in, in particular with the NXT men's tag team titles on the line. The champions, the Diamond Mine uh, Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp with Tate and Paxley at ringside taking on the Creed brothers, of course. The Diamond Mine kind of broke apart hasn't it Tatum welcomed in by Roddy Tatum turned on Ivy the Creed brothers looking for Tatum to answers uh, and then the Creed brothers taken out by uh, Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp a new diamond mine just those very strong Kemp and Paxley uh, Creed brothers returning during Roderick Strong's match with Wes Lee costing him that and now going head to head for that title diamond mine versus the Creed brothers for the NXT tag team championships Creed brothers very angry you know, maybe not as technical as they can be because of just how angry they are. They just want to hurt them. They're not so concerned with the technicalities of it all. They just want to hurt Roddy and Damon Tatum watching on. Uh, in the end, though, Diamond Martin and Creed Brothers fighting it out. And it is Julius in the ring with Roderick Strong. You know, Julius got Roderick Strong down, takes off his, what I'm looking for, elbow pad. Gets ready for that big clothesline. He got starts to go at Strong. When Strong kicks him right in the crotch. <laughs> the referee obviously seeing, calling for the bell. Disqualification. The Creed brothers picking up the victory, but not the tag titles. Roderick Strong maybe using that uh, veteran instinct of his seeing things about to go sideways. And swiftly kicking things to an end, shall we say. For a 50, pretty good match as well, though. 59 Roddy, 35 Julius, 35 Brutus, 34 Damon Kemp. The Creed brothers very in sync, aren't they? As, yeah, Julius goes down hard, Strong gets to his feet, Brutus gets in, you know, very much now he goes for the attack, but Damon stops him. And then afterwards, Damon, Roddy, and Tatum all beat down on the Creed brothers. Strong hits a big back break on both of them. Tatum gives them the tag titles, and Strong and Kemp stand strong here over the Creed brothers for 55 you know the roller coaster of emotions at a premium live event the Creed brothers coming up short and the diamond mind reigning some supreme here uh, and keeping hold of those tag titles but I 55 good good little match and a good post as well once again what more can you ask for as and we keep things going in ring wise with the NXT North American Championships on the line the champion Grayson Waller and the challenger Solo Tokoa, who he really did have next, didn't he? Uh, Waller won that title at the Great American Bash against uh, Carmelo Hayes when Santos Escobar interfered. Uh, he obviously paid Tony to get that done. Didn't want to pay Tony. Then he beat Tony with a Santos interference. Then he beat Santos with a Tony interference. Uh, but Grayson Waller is still flying high as the NXT North American champion says he's doing it all by himself. And if he's going to do it tonight, he's going to do it all by himself. No friends, no allies, no favours to call in. Grayson Waller, Solo, Sokoa. NXT North American title up for grabs. In the end, Waller and Sokoa fighting it out. But in the end, Waller goes for that uh, 
you know, running, jumping, flipping stunner he does from the outside to the inside. Solo catches him, though, gets on his back, not wasting any time for this Waller to poke him in the eye like he did on AC this past week. Just a quick Samoan drop to Waller, up to the top rope, into the splash for the one, two, three. Solo Sokoa picks up the win, and Solo Sokoa picks up the NXT North American Championship for a 49. Good. Good match. 49. 47 Grayson. Very good from him. 39 Solo. Happy. As Solo Sokoa, though, does come out on top, and Solo Sokoa wins his first championship, the NXT North American Championship at DAPT. Uh, thankfully, you know, in real life, for me, they, they gave me a render, so it'll be very easy for me to get a picture. I won't have to worry about making one, so thanks for that one, even if he only held it for a week. Uh, Grayson Waller, on his own, comes up short. Solo Sokoa, Samoan Splash, 1, 2, 3, the new champion. Good. Show going well. Show going well. We're going to take a little break from the action, though. We go to commercial, we come back, and down to the ring walks the schism. Joe Gacy, Rip Fowler, Jagger Reed, and the third, still currently hooded, Druid. And Gacy gets in the ring, and Gacy says, Cameron, I offered my invitation to you. I said I would be coming here for you to join us, for you to come into my warm embrace at last, to finally excel except the help you so need and deserve. So Cameron, he holds his arms out. I'm waiting. Uh, and out comes Cameron Grimes. Cameron Grimes does come out uh, looking uh, worse for wear, I'll say here. I read it down a bit differently there, but he's looking worse for wear, shall we say. You know, shirt not fully buttoned up, clearly not orange. You can see the wrinkles, you can see some stains. He's in his bum-ass Corbin era, we'll say. Uh, a camera guy is not doing too well, you know. He's got no money, and that ain't funny. Uh, he's not having a good time. Goes down to the ring. Gets the arms out wide. And Cameron reaches over and just takes the mic. And he says, Mr. Gacy, I appreciate your offer of help and support. And it's great you're helping these guys and all of that. But listen, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay? I might look a little worse for wear right now. But Cameron Grimes is going to be back on top. I promise you that. For a 55, Cameron Grimes turns down the proposition, hands the back, mic back to Gacy. Gacy smiles, starting to drop a little bit as his arms slowly go down to his sides, realizing Cameron Grimes isn't going to go into his warm embrace. Jagger and Rip begin to step forward towards Cameron. Jay Gacy stopping them just in time. Cameron Grimes already walking away at this point, so he doesn't even see that. Uh, but yeah, 30, 55 for that. Good little segment. Good little segment, just continuing on this. Continuing on whatever the hell this is. <laughs> uh, nicely, for a 55 as well, good. As then we go to the penultimate match of this evening, and it is the match for the NXT Women's Championship. The NXT Women's Championship on the line. And we have the champion Mandy Rose taking on Sarai. Mandy Rose, still champion. Gigi and JC by her side, still trying to use that numbers vibe, but Sarai's even things up a bit. She's got the sport of Indy and Nikita, who Toxic and Mandy are both messed with in recent months. You know, Toxic is creating this kind of army of superstars. They've annoyed to the point of wanting to beat them up, which isn't the best thing for them, probably. Uh, Matt and Andy versus Sarai, though. JC's still a bit hurt, but she's at ringside with Gigi. Indy and Nikita there as well to stop any funny business. Mandy and Sarai going at it. When in the end, they're fighting it out. Sarai's starting to get on top. Gigi goes on the apron. Indy's straight over to stop her. JC's about to get involved, but Nikita steps in between them. And JC's already hurt, so, you know, probably best not to do that. Mandy and Sarai still going at it, though. Sarai on the top, like I said. Sarai goes to the top right, but Mandy gets up just in time. Tries to pull her down, but can't. Sarai manages to push her down, but Mandy rips off the necklace thing that's on her attire. Sarai a bit surprised by that. You know, going down to get the necklace thing from Mandy, picking up, putting her back on her tire before she can. Mandy kicks her knees out, her legs out, shall I say. Sarai goes down to one knee, Mandy quickly to her feet, and then a quick knee to the face for the victory. Mandy Rose does come out in top in the end over Sarai. For a 47, fine match. They didn't click, sadly, but we move. 44 Sarai, 40 Rose, done okay there. Uh, but it's Mandy Rose making her seventh defense of the NXT Women's Championship in the end as Toxic can celebrate in the Nikita in the ring to check on Sarai. She's upset, you know, 
got a bit distracted there and it cost her. She's a bit upset, but Indy and Nikia check on her. Whilst Toxic stand tall up the ramp again for 51. Good. Another good match, good post. That's all you can ask for, and hopefully we'll have it one more time. Next up, with the main event, Wesley coming out first. More subdued entrance. Carmelo Hayes following a much less subdued entrance. It's Carmelo Hayes and Tricky Willie for a 74. Jesus Christ, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes, as I put it here, Melo makes a mellow worthy entrance. He's Carmelo Hayes. What, what more do you want? He's Carmelo Hayes. <laughs> I, I can't even think of the entrance. It's, it's, it's Melo. But you know the type of entrances Melo does before the NXT Championship is on the line. Carmelo Hayes versus Wes Lee. Carmelo Hayes has only had that title for about six weeks since he beat Bron Breaker with a bit of Trick Williams' help. Uh, whilst Wes Lee is looking to pick up his first single style in WWE, he beat Cameron Grimes. Uh to earn the right to challenge for that title he beat Cameron Grimes and won all his money gave it to charity how lovely of him Wesley and Carmelo Hayes one on one hopefully will be a good match both are really good uh, Melo Lee battling it out high flying affair both men wanting this Wesley getting a very close two full the crowd fully invested wanting Lee to come out on top Lee goes for a 6.30 sent on but Mello gets his knees up in time. Lee hurt, holding his back in pain. Hayes quickly to the top rope. And then Carmelo Hayes hits nothing but net for the victory. As Carmelo Hayes does keep a hold of his NXT Championship for a 63. Good match. Mello comes out on top, making his first defense of the NXT title. 59 Lee, 55 Mello. Mello was off his game, sadly. But we move. He's getting better his gimmick. So there's always that. Crowd was buzzing. That's all you can ask for in the championship main event, isn't it? Mello does come out on top, though. Lee Trick coming in the ring and raising Mello's hand, giving the title. Carmelo Hayes standing tall. When the sirens start to blare and out storms the former NXT champion, Bron Breaker. Mello in shock, Trick in shock. Tr Trick telling Mello, I'll, I'll deal with this, goes out the ring, begins to walk up the ramp towards Bron Breaker, and Bron Breaker just absolutely decks him, you know, takes his head off with a clothesline pretty much. Bron Breaker in the ring, and then Bron and Mello face to face. Mello raising that tile, I'm the A champ round here now. Bron Breaker, very much not happy for a 70. Good, good main event, really good post. Bron Breaker making his return to end things here. And immediately making it clear that he was not happy about losing that soul. Especially in the way he did with that Trick Williams interference. And he wants it back. As overall, Full Brawl gets us a 68 incredible show. Increased up on 52 regions. What more can you ask for? If I'm making my speeches, I'll give one to Carmelo. Who else deserves one? Uh, give one solo. You won the title, mate. Congratulations. And... Uh, let's give one to... Oh, God. Let's give it to Mandy. Screw it. Let's give it to Mandy. Still champion. Still doing really well. Give him all the praise. Uh, pleased. 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 And I am very pleased as this premium live event special comes to an end. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, why don't you leave a like and subscribe for more to see the fallout from Full Brawl when it comes. I can feel a cold coming on, so it might be a little bit longer than usual. So apologies for that if that's the case. But still, I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe for more. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.